So we have another project here on our hands, it looks like. So what we're going to do this time is we are going to build basically like a small, I guess, um, hoist. Kind of like a tow truck kind of thing on the front of this so that way I can use the winch to pull things with and lift them upwards in the front of the Jeep so that way I can move axles and other different things. So then we're going to take a chain and stuff and wrap it to the back and everything that's adjustable and everything. This here though, uh, we're going to start with some of this steel over here, obviously, that I keep stepping on, making a whole bunch of noise. So we're going to take some of this and we're going to weld it up to the Jeep. So as you can see, there's nothing on there right now. So by the time we're done, we're going to have a couple things on there. Let me show you what we're going to have. I got 15 feet of chain rated at uh, 6,600 pounds, uh, two hooks, a clevis hook, a um, snatch block pulley, and a regular hook. So we're going to use those mechanisms to build a hoist on the front of this. So we'll go ahead and uh, film it as we go here and that kind of thing. So if you guys have any uh, questions or anything, you guys can definitely send an email or send a uh, send uh, something or another. Hey folks, so after about a day and a half of welding, cutting and grinding and making a mess, and getting parts I finally got the hoist done on the uh, front of the Jeep and it works pretty good so let me show you how it works there's some leftover crud all kinds of metal shavings and trimmings and all that other stuff and then the actual finished piece is right on the front of the Jeep. Looks like it is raining now. So let's take a take a real quick peek here. only ended up costing me about a mm, not including the metal but maybe a hundred and hundred bucks for some of the parts and stuff the pulley the snatch block the hook stuff like that that was uh, about a hundred maybe 125 bucks including the metal and stuff I already had the winch so I didn't need to to worry about that so I got these these pins that pull out real easy so when I want to go four wheeling and everything I just pop these pins out and just disconnect it and then off we go so I went ahead and made uh, a couple of uh, cross braces here for it it's starting to rain too on us here but we got the chain that's hooked to this to this big block here and that's pinned in like that the big pin and everything and then I got a where the winch cable goes right up over the pulley right in the center there that I can use and now I can lift axles engines damn near anything I want I've already tested it and it works really well. I'll show you the front of it here. And that pulley just spins. Like I got some water on the camera now. Nice weld job here. You can see that weld is 
almost looked like a machine did that weld but it didn't I did arc welded that and that is one hell of a weld very nice weld there I'm proud of myself for that one and then we got it hooked up to the to the winch and the cable I'll show you guys what it can lift and stuff like that I got it tied up to the back like this double looped around so it's adjustable I can adjust the height of the uh, mechanism on the front it comes down through there onto the back down here like that and it's on a d-ring that's where that's mounted so I'm gonna go and pick up an axle over here and show you what this thing can do so we got it we got it hooked up here we got an axle on it we're gonna go ahead and lift it on up now Whoop. As you can see, it works pretty good. That's only a Dana 60. That one there is a Dana 80. That sucker's really heavy, but it doesn't have any problems lifting them at all. So that works really nice there. Hell yeah, now I can move my stuff around. 